Greetings, I'm Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Mega Man X4 X playthrough. Zero playthrough already being completed. It's the same, but with more balls of laser. And, you know, different cutscenes. So it's totally worth playing the entire thing over again. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm probably going to attempt to play 5 again, just because... I, I don't know, I I've started at Mega Man X1, and I've played all the way to, to 4. A part of me wants to go to 5, because, um... 5 is, I, I believe, part of the official canon still. Well, it's all part of the canon, but... Uh, I guess it started to really go off the rails during 6. Like, if they weren't money-grubbing, you know, Capcom. Oh, well. Here's the first Dr. Light. This battle never should have happened, X. Why must Reploids fight each other? Why do these peacekeepers persist in fighting each other? This must be some sort of mistake. X, enter the capsule. Equip... Equip with this to discover the truth. Equip with this... Equip with this to discover the truth? What? Equip this boot and you will jump twice in the air and hover. Okay, whatever. You're just confusing me. Stop this tragic war as soon as possible, X. Will do. It's weird. How could he know if he's just a recording? That is actually significant. By the way, hover. I can't, like, go up and down, but I can hover, like, back and forth. And I can't dash and hover. It has to be a jump and hover. I don't know. It's not all that useful, but... There are, you know, one or two bosses that I think, uh... Hovering does help. It would be useful if I was fighting Iris, but you don't fight Iris in this. But this is actually why I decided to fight the spider. Oh, by the way... Um, where is it? Ice! Haha! <laughs> now they did an interesting... Maybe I should actually switch it. Alright, this is not a good place to practice things. <laughs> Not a good place at all. But they did it so that um, even if you're switched onto a special weapon, you can still use the X Buster. And then uh, just hit the other button. Oh, God. That was almost bad. To uh, use a special power, which is kind of cool. Though I don't like the way the default controls are set up for that. I'm probably going to switch them in a second. Haha. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Alright, that's much better. Making it so the regular X button button the regular X Buster button is always X Buster. And the other button will be the special weapons. Haha. <laughs> yeah, this will totally work. This isn't the uh, ice weapon that I thought it was. This, this weapon's actually not bad. It's definitely good for uh, attacking things below you. It does give some measure of protection, especially if you um, stand and use it and stay there. Haha. <laughs> Out of my way. Not want any of your guffs, son. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Ha. <laughs> Brains. See, I'm just gonna talk about other stuff, because I've already done the- I don't know. I guess there's not much to explain since I've already, you know, played through just yesterday. Um, yeah, I talk about Die Tonight a lot, the ga the browser-based game, but that's because um, a large amount of my... Um, it's kind of like, if I'm not hanging out with friends and I'm not doing LPs, I'm probably doing something on Die Tonight. I, I, I'm on it a long time because I met some really cool people through it. And most of that game is just talking to your, uh... Well, the way it used to be, it was just talking to your meta, like your meta coalition. It Like, you can have a coalition where you can play with five friends and bring them to different towns. 
and a meta coalition is a bunch of little coalitions that join towns together. But this last eps like this last update might have ruined the game for me because they they stopped that. They made it so that you can't join a town with as many people as you want. They capped it so that you can only choose 20 of them. And every town we used to find cool people and bring them onto the meta, and now we can't do that. Because we already had 20 people. Now if we meet someone cool, we have to be like, what? Well, sorry. And it just makes it a hassle for us all to join together, and, uh... So I don't know, I might... I don't know if I'm ready to stop playing it, but I definitely don't care as much. I mean, if I'm not playing with the people that I met, I really... I, I don't care at this point. I mean, I know the original point purpose was to meet with a whole bunch of strangers and survive, but that's only fun for so long. If you don't meet it, get a rapport with anyone, uh, what's the point, you know? Uh. All right, so now that I've driven everyone away that doesn't play that game, <laughs> on to the boss fight. I know how it's annoying to listen to people talk about a game you've never played before, so I'll try not to do that again. You've labeled us all as mavericks. I won't let you pass. Turn back now. Yeah, you guys are mavericks, jerks, huh? That's a weird thing. In this game, um, they really, most of them aren't, necessary, aren't necessarily mavericks. I mean, they're holding the area, but I think all the other mavericks were, like, actively, like, killing people and destroying things weren't there. I think these guys are just occupying it. But I don't know. They don't really go into it. The story's not so thought out that uh, they ever reveal the exact options. Yeah. I mean, in this one it kind of introduces, like, before it seemed like Maverick was like a thing, like an actual computer bug. In this one they're making it seem more like the word terrorist. Like, you know, it, it's not like something inherent, it's not a computer glitch or anything. It's just that, uh, these, these, uh, the Reploids have free will, and if they choose to attack humans, they're Mavericks. Yeah. Which is cool, but, you know, it's not really explored that much. So you notice I'm actually avoiding some of these spiders, because I can't get rid of them unless I have a fully charged up Egg Buster. And the time that it takes me to charge up the X-Buster is often enough time for a spider to come over and hit me. So, I do what I can and run away. You can hit them on the ground if you dash and then shoot, because that's kind of how you duck in this. But in order to do that, you have to fly towards the spider, so you're still probably going to get hit. And very different than from when you play a Zero, because he can just hit anyone he wants. Lightning Web. There's a spider web charged with electricity. And the reason it's good to get early is because it, it lets you... It creates kind of an electronic wall that you can jump off on and get to areas that you couldn't otherwise. Or you can get to areas easier than you would have been able to otherwise. Alright, what jerk face do I go after next? Hmm. Actually, first, I think I'm going to go get that, um... Well, I, I really shouldn't. Ready! <laughs> I should save that, but it'd be good to have this item early, I guess. Um, just turn down my speakers so I don't get any uh, echoing effect. But I can now go up here with my spider thingy. Of course, I should probably shoot it a bit closer than that. There we are. And I believe I can get the, uh, the, uh, fourth, the, the life extender, I don't know what they, oh god. <laughs> Almost flew right into deadly spikes. No deadly, deadly bees are going to stop me. Uh, but disappearing ice platforms might. Oh, they really might. Ah! Uh, cutting it close. Now, this is going to be hard, isn't it? There, that wasn't too bad. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And, alright, do I, who do I want to fight? 
probably gonna fight, um, Floaty Mick, um, Spearface. Yeah, him. Now, I don't... I don't even know if I should show just because this is gonna be, like, exactly the same as when I did it with Zero, because we're on a bike, and there's no difference. They haven't changed any of the item locations. So, we'll see. Uh... I, I might as well just show it. I, I don't know. I always get, like, worried that people are gonna be bored and stopped watching, but, you know... I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't worry about it. Yeah, because, you know, some people are going to get bored and stop watching. Period. No matter what I do. I mean, I should be conscious of things, but I shouldn't worry about... Oh, god damn you. Haha! <laughs> Couldn't leave without my heart. I needed to pump blood through my circuits. Human blood. Uh, yeah, so we got that. I think that's the first heart container I got, isn't it? Because I did two stages that uh, both require me to have the fire upgrade. So really, that should be what I get next, is a fire upgrade. It's not like the Dragoon's gonna be much of a problem, I'm just gonna use my right armor to beat the crap out of him. I'll beat the oil out of you, boy! Hey, buddy. Cut in half. Little vehicular homicide. Okay. I did it. It took me so many times to get it the other time. Hopefully I can get the energy container the first time. Where are you? There you are. Uh-oh. Don't hit into the thing. Oh, that was close. Alright. Two things. And a ramp. Platform. And... <laughs> and I get crushed in between things. Get away! You're distracting me. Ignore him. Alright, got it. I wasn't able to take him out that time, and he was just bothering me. Whew! Well, Alright, got all the items, and I don't ever need to come back to the stage ever again for my natural life. Completely true. I'm impressed that you found me, but your search is over. Get ready, X. It's pretty much the exact same thing he said to Zero. Now, the strategy for beating him is totally different, in that, uh... When you're zero, you should just, um, you know, go behind him and stab him in the back repeatedly. For him, you really want to be on the wall. And that's because those little stingrays that he shoots at you cannot be easily taken out with X. Unless you have some kind of weapon. Which I do. But, uh, first playthrough of Mavericks, try to beat them without the special weapons. Mainly just because it... It's too easy otherwise. I mean, in my, in my, zero, my uh, Mega Man X1 playthrough, I just exploited weaknesses like hell and tore through some of them. So some of the Mavericks weren't even displayed properly, you know? You didn't even get to see what they had. And I've been trying not to do that. Ever yeah, during the Resurrect scene, it is open season. I will kill those bastards any way I know how. Ice, wind, feet, swords, mucus. You got ground hunter. All right, I get to hunt on the ground. All voles shall die. This is an interesting power, I must say. It's not bad. All right, next episode I'll take out two mavericks. I don't know which ones. Probably dragoon. And Skippy Johnson. I'll take out Skippy Johnson. Alright, see ya.